I just wanted to let the public know that the party had its first national executive meeting this morning um, since the municipal elections and a number of issues were raised. Primary, of course, is the San Pedro issue and what has been going on out there with the results of the municipal election. And it was decided by the national executive to challenge the results out there, to file an election petition sometime this week. The petition draft is ready, so it's just a matter of getting everyone to sign and to get the matter filed. What we found, and we had a team out there working since election day, and we found a lot of irregularities, a lot of inconsistencies, a lot of the numbers just don't add up. And we believe that these issues form the basis for a very good case that we may have against what happened out there. But I think regardless of what happens with the results uh, I mean, court, it's important that we fight this thing all the way through because the people of San Pedro, the voters of San Pedro, our party supporters uh, from out there and from all over the country expect the party to take this thing right through to the end. We believe that there are enough issues to deal with that that way. I understand that the party also discussed the state of affairs in Belize City in the wake of what right. transpired over the weekend. Well, I think um, a number of issues were raised this morning. Um, as I said, San Pedro was one of them. But we also discussed the KHMH issue. The party released uh, or sent out a press release this afternoon on that. We also discussed the crime situation and the escalation in that situation and the lack of a response really coming from the Prime Minister and the UDP government. Because we believe what the Prime Minister did yesterday was really just kind of shuffling the deck and not offering any real solutions to what's going on. The party leader and the deputy party leader and Honorable Colonel Hyde will be addressing the nation tomorrow on these issues. And so I leave them to, to address what the party's response to what the Prime Minister said yesterday will be. And finally, the opening up of uh, posts, if I may, for the standard bearers. Well, as was announced, the re-registration exercise will be starting this year, uh, July 1st. So we, we want to have all our leaders in place in the 31 constituencies by July 1st. So the national executive this morning agreed to open the window for the selection of standard bearers in all 31 constituencies by April 16th.